Hey everyone, welcome back to Indie Buffet. Today we are taking a look at Sector 6 Alpha, and it is a side-scrolling shoot-em-up kind of game with a pretty cool visual aesthetic. We are going to skip the story. It is what you'd expect. It is fairly standard. Not that that's a problem. We can use WASD to move, and we have to click every time we want to fire, and we have these ticking things to the side and we can see up top where we are going basically just telling us how much time we have. I like how everything kind of breaks apart. Um, I would like to see, this is an alpha, it does say 6 or 6 alpha. Um, I would like to see a bit more work put into tutorializing the game. That's just me. And we can move down here. Those don't do anything. Yet, I imagine they will. Our health bars are the white bar at the bottom, as you'd expect. It's it's pretty hard, I find, to dodge. Also, we have to keep hitting the button, the, the, the left mouse button. And these things always stay up top, and they are really annoying. Um, so there's some AI issues. Uh, and, not that this is an indictment against the game, but some of the... Um, English isn't the best, but, you know, that's not, again, it's not an indictment with the game. Uh, a proofreader would not be amiss, however, um, is, is my point. I like the music. Again, there is some RPG elements to this. We get XP. We have the Plasma Torch and the Ion Cannon. And now we can kind of choose where we go. And you can see what the rewards are. So we'll do one level. And you can see that we have a special power. We have to get ether by killing things. And we will do our best to do that. My, my main problem is in a lot of the, the missions that I've tried just off camera, it's like kill a hundred ships. And it's it's kind of tedious to kill ships. Um, they, they dodge around a lot. And again, I have to repeatedly press the button. Um, they also regenerate health, which we do not. Uh, so the, the cover, these these ships in particular, are really frustrating to take down. Like, super frustrating to take down. Basically, you have to just go in as fast as humanly possible, or you are sunk, and it takes forever. And that's okay when it's timed, as you can see at the top. We have a time limit, but um, it's, it's, it's pretty frustrating to try to take them out um, otherwise. And when your game is all about, you know, killing things, uh, it, it's not a good idea to make killing things frustrating. I, I like how ships break apart. I would actually like to see... Um, did you not want to... There you go. That was our ether guys saw that it was the first. Um, yeah, I, I would like to see a little bit more variation in the ships. I haven't really seen a lot of different ship types. And what I would really like to see is maybe when you break ships apart, they become different ships. They change what kind of ship they are. I think that'd be a lot of a lot of fun and be really cool. Um, nothing else to say. I'm going to, you know, keep watching this. I like RPG games and it's novel and apologies for the screen slowdown there. And we're just going to take you out. And now, right now we're just essentially running down the clock. The ships do kind of move, the enemy ships do kind of move in a linear pattern. And I'll show off the leveling because we did uh, level 2 and we're almost dead. Uh, so the fact that we only have half a minute left is, is probably a good thing. Like, yeah, see, that, that ship broke up, and that's really cool, but it's still the same kind of ship, you know? Um, and, and that's kind of a bummer, because I think there's there's something to be said about the modular nature of these these black enemy ships, not these nondescript things that are just silhouettes, essentially. Um, but nothing's really being done with them, and that's unfortunate. That thing's level 3. And we are getting pounded. There we go. And now we can take a look at our ship. 
and we can kind of build it to our own specifications. Like I said, there is some RPG elements we can save. We can go in with technology. Due to the ether, we can get special powers. We can get special materials, which we can't access yet. And ether collection technology. And we can level them up. So that's cool. It's a, it's an it's an interesting um, it's an interesting mechanic, and I, I think this game has a lot of promise, and I think it has a lot of of heart, perhaps, perhaps, not there yet, but that's okay. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.